Hello and welcome to Engineering Design Graphics, Lesson 8. Today we are looking at uh, storyboarding, a technique we use in design drawing to show narrative sequences and describe things that uh, we have trouble describing with a single orthographic or isometric view. To start, grid off your first sheet in, in uh, six boxes, four or eight work as well, depending on the detail you are trying to present. We're going to be basing our sequence today on the How a Baseball is Made video, which you can see in the link below. Do go and watch this before you start uh, following along uh, with this video. So the first step in the making of a baseball is the cork pill. That cork pill then gets encased in two layers of rubber. Uh, none of that's showed explicitly in the video, and I think it's fine to show a similar restraint with regards to detail here. We don't just show the, the growing of uh, cork trees or rubber trees and, and so on. Um, we can just cut to the chase, which in this case is the creation of that round, resilient center uh, that the baseball is built upon. You can see I'm using shading, uh, but keeping the sketch quick uh, and relatively cartoony in its aspect. So. The next step is going to be to show the pills being covered with adhesive. So I'm going to draw an arm with a cup pouring some glue into a big round tumbler uh, that the pills are turned in to coat them with glue. So I'll take a little time to show what's going on here, add some shading on those pills to show depth, um, give it a clear title. show some motion perhaps with arrows, and move on to the next frame. A little emphasis there. Next, the pills uh, get wrapped in yarn. That happens three times with uh, wool yarn, and so we'll just show that with one frame and note that it happens three times. We don't need to draw the same same event happening over and over again. Um, there's a rotating spindle that the that the uh, pill sits on as it gets wrapped, and so I'm showing that. The movie also shows someone starting it by hand, but I, I need to decide whether to show the mechanism or the hand, probably not both in one simple frame. There's another wool step, a wrapping step, in which the wool, it's a different kind of wool, wool poly blend, and so I'll show that same armature just as an outline, uh, no need to draw it twice, um, and then a different sort of texture happening on that, that ball, uh, what they're calling a center. Let me give emphasis again on the outline before I move on to the next frame. Then the uh, centers are tumbled with glue. So again, I want to show a hand operating the equipment here. Um, keep your hand diagrammatic, uh, and if you need to, check the uh, How to Draw Hands handout sheet, or just draw your own hand uh, enough times that you have a sense of the underlying geometry. So those centers are loaded into another tumbler with adhesive, um, or glue, let's say, um, stay consistent in our terminology, and uh, that's the full sheet of sheet one of, in this case, two. Um, but before I move on to sheet two, I'm going to cover the, uh, sorry, outline the, the frames clearly so that they read as a sequence and just clean up the sheet. And then uh, just take a look at the sheet again to make sure that it is complete and says everything you need to say. Then move on to the next. We're gonna grid out a sheet number two, uh, but first let's sharpen our pencils and make sure that we are, I haven't worn down to a, to a soft round <laughs> nub. Uh, we want nice clear lines on both sheets. And the page is gridded out. We've got our second title on the block and it's time to start with the next frame. After the centers of the baseball are made, they punch the covers out of a leather sheet with a hydraulic press and a funny little handheld tool that's uh, a little metal die. So I'm going to show that 
in its context with the hydraulic press and the sheet of leather. Um, add a little detail around the arm, dots for where the holes are also punched at the same time in those leather covers. Um, arrows perhaps to show the press going down. Uh, and then um, on the next frame, I'm gonna take a little moment out of the regular run of the narrative sequence to show that die in more detail because that's a kind of critical component and the very small depiction of it in that uh, first frame is uh, not really perhaps complete enough to tell the story. So here's an enlarged view and I'm going to box that in with a circle so that it looks different from the, uh, the sequence of rectangular frames that tell the story. So we go from frame 7 to frame 8 down below because we took the spot that 8 would have been in uh, and we go on to the next step. That step is to wrap the center of the ball with the covers and I'm going to show the dots again of the pre-punched holes and the funny little armature that they use to hold it. And then of course, stitching. Uh, this is a really dramatic moment in the creation of the baseball and I'm going to zoom back out again and show the worker at his desk with the thread in each hand making that cross stitch motion. And here again, arrows help me to, to show that that's a, a directional motion um, and make clear that there's a, a, a simultaneous cross stitching happening. For the human figure, use a diagrammatic characterization of it rather than something that has a lot of detail. We want the focus to be on the gesture and the operation being achieved rather than the details of the human figure. Do try to get the proportions right. There are plenty of reference materials on the proportions of the human figure. Move on to the next frame now. There's a polishing step with a large uh, spiral machine. Um, and so I'm going to show that with arrows showing the rotation of the balls, um, a few balls inside the machine, and uh, move on to the next frame. And this frame I'll take a little more time perhaps on because it's the last frame. I want to end on a clear note. And I'll show the little um, three-headed stamper uh, moving down to impress the ball with the logos that go on it. Once again, remember to hit the outline uh, to show and let things pop. Um, and that's really all there is to it. You've now created a sequence. Um, show a little shading to give the ball a spherical look. Um, you've now shown a sequence of actions to describe the making of something. Um, remember to clean up your sheets. Notice the circle gets emphasized there rather than the frame that it sat within. Um, and then if you set them side by side, you've got a nice um, run of narrative that tells the story. That's all there is for the storyboard. Thank you for watching. attribution on commercial no derivatives 4.0 US license. That means feel free to share it all you want, but please don't sell it or change it.